Well, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome uh, my good friend, Prime Minister Lee, to the Oval Office. Uh, he and I uh, had interacted uh, in a whole range of international fora, and uh, not surprisingly, uh, he has proven to be uh, an outstanding partner for us on the international stage. Uh, not surprising because Singapore and the United States have historically had uh, an extraordinary relationship. Uh, Singapore is one of the most successful countries in the world. Uh, I think their progress and their development uh, over the last several decades has uh, been an example for many countries around the world. Uh, you know, we have extremely close uh, military cooperation. I want to thank Singapore for uh, all the uh, facilities that they provide that allow us to maintain our effective uh, Pacific presence. They are uh, an outstanding economic partner. Uh, over the last decade since we signed our uh, free trade agreement, we have seen uh, a doubling of trade between our countries, uh, and that creates jobs here in the United States as well as in Singapore. Uh, as a leader in ASEAN uh, and the East Asia Summit, uh, they've provided, I think, a steady vision of how countries in the Pacific region can cooperate effectively uh, for the prosperity and security of all uh, and are strong promoters of rules of the road uh, and international norms that uh, the United States strongly supports. Uh, and so uh, across the board, uh, we have very much appreciated uh, the extraordinary uh, relationship between our two countries. And uh, personally, I can tell you that uh, there are very few world leaders uh, who uh, I'm more appreciative of in terms of their advice uh, and counsel and, and, and thoughtful analysis uh, than Prime Minister Lee. Uh, and as we continue uh, the process that we called rebalancing uh, when I first came into office, uh, we've continued to uh, seek out the advice and, and good counsel of Singapore uh, in how to affect that in uh, a way that uh, creates uh, not only uh, you know, strong security, but also uh, increased prosperity for both the United States and the countries of the region. So uh, I'm very thankful for uh, Singapore uh, and its partnership. I'm thankful to Prime Minister Lee for his outstanding work. Uh, I'm grateful for the people of Singapore. As many of you know, uh, I spent some time in my youth in this part of the world uh, and uh, have a great fondness and affection for uh, the people of Singapore. Uh, I'm extraordinarily pleased to see their great success. Uh, and I'm looking forward to a very productive discussion about how we can continue uh, to uh, improve prospects for uh, people, uh, not just in the Asia-Pacific region, but uh, around the world. So thank you very much. Mr. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here in Washington during cherry blossom season, and very honored to be calling on the president so early in his second term. Uh, we have very good relations between Singapore and the United States broad and deep cooperation. Uh, we work together in education, research and development. We work together in economic areas and trade. We work together in counterterrorism and defense. And it's a comprehensive relationship, and we look forward, particularly in the next few weeks, to welcoming the first literal combat ship, which will be arriving in Singapore, and we will be staying host to it for a few months. More broadly, Singapore is very happy that uh, the U.S. under the Obama administration has been putting greater emphasis on its relations with Asia, that it's rebalancing in, towards Asia, and that it's engaging Asia across many fronts, uh, not just security, but also economic, also cultural, also educational. And Singapore would like to be of help in furthering this process in deepening the relationship. Uh, the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, is a very important part of it, and we're working on that agenda now. Uh, there's also work going on deepening ASEAN's relations with the United States, which the President initiated when we last met in November in Phnom Penh. And there are other important bilateral relationships in Asia, including what is perhaps the most important bilateral relationship in the world, which is between the US and China. And uh, we are happy that the administration's attention is focused on these, and Singapore will do our part, what we can, to help America engage the region constructively, productively, 
and in a way which fosters stability and prosperity for all the countries. So I'm very happy to be here to be calling on the President and I hope I'll have the opportunity to invite him to come and visit Singapore before too long and for me to reciprocate his wonderful hospitality. Thank, Thank you very much everybody. Thank you. Thank you.